Hello, welcome to your Soul Print Weekly Pick Your Crystal Reading. This is for the week September 24th through September 30th. We're now at the end of September, my goodness. I have some interesting crystals here for you today. So we're going with, with wands or points. This one is amethyst, okay? It's, it's very delicate amethyst, but it is amethyst. This one is rose quartz, all right? And this one in the middle is an incredibly kind of special stone. This is Atlantean crystal. All right. I have three pieces of this. This is the smallest. But I thought we would um, use it today as part of your weekly Pick Your Crystal reading. So as you know, um, feel free to pick one, two, or even all three crystals. Uh, see which crystal is calling out to you, which one is resonating. And we shall get started. Uh, before I go any further, thank you very, very much for being here and supporting the weekly Pick Your Crystal readings. Alrighty. Let's get started with the amethyst. All right, here we go. Okay, we're starting with temperance, the eight of pentacles, the hierophant, and the three of wands. Okay. So, two higher arcana cards, you know, two from the um, minor um, Arcadian decks. So, temperance. This is about balance. This is about finding balance, maintaining balance, looking for balance. The overall energy is that you have been working very, very hard to create a sense of balance in your life. Now, whether that is a, you know, um, a work versus personal home life balance, whether that is a balance between, um, you know, your interactions, your alone time or your private time versus time with family and friends. Perhaps there have been some demands that are being made on your time that are, are, are causing you to feel a little bit off kilter or out of balance. The, the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, it's that energy of, you know, um, working hard, but it's also um, a good news kind of card. It can denote a new job coming, a new money-making adventure. Um, you can be finding something to do with perhaps one of your existing talents and figuring out a way how to maybe maneuver that into a little bit of a cottage industry business for yourself. But you're being reminded, you're being asked to make sure as you move forward that you are keeping balance. You know, it is so easy, particularly when there's a lot of demands on us, particularly when we're really hyper-focused and working hard on accomplishing something, to just sort of put the other stuff, you know, aside. But the other stuff is what makes our life meaningful. So it's really important that you recognize that feeling as if your life is balanced, it works for you, that the energies are right for you, is really important because that helps create that sense of um, security and success and you know, a desire to move forward. The Hierophant is interesting in, in this combination. Certainly, if, if you're looking at um, any sort of a, a new business venture or anything like that, it, the Hierophant is there indicating that anything you're needing in terms of government, you know, approvals, documentation, um, that kind of thing is going to be there for you. If not, the Hierophant can also represent... Um, you know, a mentor, 
or somebody that you seek for guidance. So if you are really struggling and you can't seem to, to, you know, find a way to get that sense of not being pulled in a bunch of different directions, perhaps you know, you need to talk to somebody. Maybe there is a friend that you can talk to, some sort of a mentor, somebody who will just listen to you vent. But the really nice news is the Three of Wands here, because the Three of Wands is indicating that this is about um, moving forward in a way almost as if the first initial stages of something have found completion. And so this makes perfect sense with this grouping of cards, right? It's about you're working hard. You've got a lot on your plate. You need to struggle. You need to find your balance because otherwise you're sucking all the joy out of your life, frankly. The Hierophant is reminding you that there is always help available, assistance. Maybe you just need to bring somebody into your circle who can help take some of the load off. You know, maybe you need to um, create a situation where for a period of time you remove some of the things from your plate. Maybe you put them on another's plate or maybe you just set them aside and, and decide, you know what, it can, just, it can just wait. But the Three of Wands definitely indicates that there is successful movement forward. You have done the preliminary work to create um, an environment that, frankly, is just healthier for you and, and it feels more like it's in control. And so having done that, it's now time with the Three of Wands to move forward in a way that allows you to continue on with, you know, your long-range plans or your goals. Lovely. Okay. Now, the Atlantean crystal. Two of cups, six of wands, three of cups, seven of swords. All righty. Now, the seven of swords is probably throwing you off a little bit. Um, because, you know, the other cards, generally speaking, are considered very, you know, good cards, kind of very auspicious cards. And the Seven of Swords here is actually not, it's talking about the need for diplomacy. It's talking about um, not being aggressive or sort of too in your face about trying to accomplish what you need to accomplish or want to accomplish. So let's focus on these two cards. But remember, the Seven of Swords here is not like some bad omen, okay? So the Two of Cups invariably talks about um, you know, relationships. Now, it could be a new love relationship. It could be... Um, a reconciliation in some cases. It could be a business partnership. It could be a reconnection of friends even. But it is about sort of like an important union. It's about an important coming together. And that coming together has the potential to lead you to a place of success. Now, you know, the Two of Cups could be as something as simple as um, you're selling your house and looking for the right realtor. It could be you are shopping, perhaps for a special piece of furniture or a special item. Maybe you're looking for a specific, you know, piece of clothing. Maybe you have something connected to the Three of Cups, which is a card of, you know, celebration. Maybe you're going to a wedding or some sort of a party, something like that. The Two of Cups would, could represent you and a sales um, person who can, you know, steer you in the right direction, who really understands what you're saying. So don't limit your thinking to, oh, well, this has to mean, you know, this or that. But a partnership can be the one that lasts for, you know, 50 years, or it could be one that lasts for 10 minutes, but accomplishes a goal 
um, that you are trying to achieve. And so with the six, six of Wands, you're definitely talking about that sense of, um, you know, finding the success you need. The Six of Wands represents, of course, you know, um, recognition, achievement, success, sometimes promotions. But it's definitely, I mean, in short form, it's it's just always referred to kind of as the victory card, right? You get what it is you're you're trying to achieve. The Three of Cups is about, you know, happiness. It's about um, a sense of achievement. It very often has to do with family or friendship celebrations. It could be, you know, weddings. It, it could be celebrating a birthday. It could be celebrating a job promotion. It could be any kind of a celebration that brings people together. And that is where the diplomacy kicks in. Because for some people who are looking from the outside in, okay, it may seem to them that everything in your little world is just going along. Tickety-boo. And what problems could you possibly have? And, you know, there may be a little bit of a green-eyed monster connecting to this or perhaps some resentment that you have or are achieving what they want or don't, you know, haven't been able to achieve. So this is about even with the excitement and the thrill, frankly, of these wonderful cards. This is a reminder to stay humble, to stay diplomatic, to stay um, kind, and recognize that while you may be celebrating some amazing success going forward, and you have absolutely every right to shout from the rooftops and celebrate to your heart's content, it's also reminding you that there may be people whose feelings you want to be particularly cognizant of, you want to be aware of, and make sure that, you know, They don't feel as if somehow or another um, you are somehow hurting them or insulting them. All right. So whatever this is, like, whoa, yay, congratulations. That's amazing. And just remember to put on your diplomacy hat as you're moving forward. Okay. And let's look at the rose quartz shall we here we go the nine of pentacles that's a nice beginning you have the king of swords stability you have the seven of wands and death do not freak out okay so the nine of pentacles is about well, it, it's, you know, it's about security to start with, right? It's about having what you, um, what you need, right? It's about having, you know, financial success, uh, mat material success. It is about working hard for what you have, respecting and honoring what you have accumulated. It is about that sense of independence about being able to chart your own pathway going forward this is a really lovely lovely energy i mean everybody wants to feel safe everybody wants to feel secure and this is a reminder that in fact Yes, we feel secure when we feel that we have um, the material possessions that we need and require to feel safe. But it's also a reminder that this is about knowing in your head, in your emotions, that you are safe. And just knowing that you are in a safe and successful place contributes to more of that same energy. Now, 
The King of Swords, you know, this can often be about the courts, the law, the government. It's somebody who is efficient. They're kind of no nonsense. Now, is it possible that perhaps this King of Swords energy might have to do with you trying to perhaps look at some of your assets and figure out how to secure them or what to do with them. It may be that these assets are allowing you to go forward in a way that brings you to a place um, of, of finally being able to act on your ambitions. And, of course, swords are about thinking and your thought processes and so it's very very important when you have the swords here and you have the nine of pentacles on one side and the seven of wands on the other because of course the seven of wands is about defending your position overcoming obstacles taking the high ground and so i think the overarching message of these three cards is to keep your thoughts focused and centered on what it is you are achieving this is about manifesting what your ambitions are but knowing that at the bottom of it all it starts with your thoughts and your thinking and finding that clarity and then you know figuring out how you want this to manifest how you want it to come together and I, I, frankly, I really like the death card here because it's talking about this sense of achievement. It's talking about creating um, that forward momentum. It's talking about almost like a new beginning or recognizing that you were in a, in a secure space and state. And so in this case, the death card literally represents um, that new beginning it is about rebirth rejuvenation a new start it is about you know kind of you know the phoenix rising from the ashes and so this is actually really really nice energy because it's talking about you being able to move forward using not only your um you know, your words and your actions not only using um the manifestation of things in the material physical world it's talking about having that sense of, of security and balance but the death card is saying to you listen you are ready now to start a new chapter you are ready to start a new phase and that phase in and of itself is going to continue to bring you the abundance and the the energy, the manifestation energy to continue to move this forward. So again, a lovely reading and lovely, lovely energy. This is about growth potential and going forward. And here we go. Those are our readings for our three wands. Thank you so very, very much for being here. And I look really forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.